Welcome back to the Washington State Dynasty and welcome to Autzen Stadium. Today we'll feature a matchup of Washington State and Oregon, the top two teams in the Pac-12 North, both in today's game at 7-2 and 4-1 in conference. The winner of this game will control their destiny moving forward and the winner more likely than not will represent the North in the Pac-12 championship, but it's about time to kick off from one of the loudest stadiums in all of America. Let's get started. So Marcellus Pippins and Zaire Andre are back to return the deep kick. Pippins takes it out of his own end zone. He has a nice spin move, but is brought down at maybe around the 17 yard line as Washington State's offense will take the field for the first time today. Last week, Washington State lost arguably their best player on offense in Gerard Wicks to a season ending injury. And Gabe Marks actually starts out in the backfield of the full house set, gets the pitch, but not able to do much with it. Gerard Wicks and Jamal Morrow were splitting carries, but now Morrow becomes the featured back. He has 800 yards on the season, so he's no slouch and averages 7.1 yards per carry along with six touchdowns. Now second and long, Gibb goes to Morrow. He is nowhere to go, only able to pick up maybe one yard there. So now a big third down, empty set, five wide. Luke Falk across, but he's got Dom Williams. He's past the 45 yard line, down at around the 48. Kevin Chapman checks into the game. He gets the carry right up the middle of the field. He fights forward, picks up 10, just short of the first down line. Now second and inches, an empty set once more. Quads to the right, and we find Sebastian LaRue cutting across the middle of the field, short of the 25 yard line, a pickup of 16. Luke Falk drops back once more, going to the air often, and on third down, he got hit as he threw, and now we will be forced to settle for a field goal. Kick is away from Breshers, and it is good right down in the middle of the uprights as we do have a studio update as number two UCLA has lost this week to Arizona. UCLA was on path for a national championship appearance, but now they have lost and three other top 10 teams have also lost. So that's four top 10 teams so far. Let's see if we can add one more. Marcus Mariota decided to return for his senior year as he probably could have been at least a first round pick, probably a top five pick in the NFL draft, but wanted to come back to Oregon and maybe compete for a national championship. As he runs out of the pocket to the 40 yard line, doing one of the things he does best running the ball, but that does not mean he is not a good passer. He's an excellent passer out of the pocket, has great pocket presence, and has an incredible touchdown to interception rate at 21 to two. Mariota now on the read option, gotta contain him as he is very athletic and does a very nice job in the run game. Royce Freeman to the game, but Mariota will keep it this time, nowhere to go. Daryl Monroe in on the tackle, only able to pick up one yard. Royce Freeman, a freshman who redshirted last year, but very talented, has played incredibly well this year with 787 yards on the year seven touchdowns. It is now third down, a big third down to the outside and Farrell Brown, the tight end, tiptoes along the sideline for 17 yards. Freeman, nope, doesn't get it this time either. Mariota keeps it, he goes straight up the middle of the field. He's inside of the 10 yard line, down to the sixth. A pickup of call it 13. But now second and goal, and that's a false start on Oregon. Back him up five yards. Now third and goal from the 11. Mariota from the left hash to the end zone. Going up is Carrington. He went up and got it, picked up eight. Did not break the plane, however, and Oregon will be forced to settle for a field goal. With Oregon getting that deep in our territory, we're lucky to just hold him to a field goal. Morrow starts off with a three yard loss, and now Luke Falk to the air. He breaks one, not able to break the second. Eric Armstead in on the sack. Another player who probably could have been a first round pick to decided to return to Oregon to bolster their roster. Mariota takes off. He goes to the 50 yard line inside of Washington State territory. Now second and five. Tyner trying to get to the outside. He runs over the defender. Just a great stiff arm right there. And an eight yard gain. Now a 3-3-5 defense. Mariota taking off. He has a little room to work with. He goes for six. You gotta limit him getting out of the pocket. That's where he does his best work. Third and five. Mariota inside of the pocket. He takes off. Got to bring him down. A great play by Cache Palacio. Only allowed to pick up three yards. And now Oregon for another field goal. Back him up another five yards. You got to wonder if the crowd noise is starting to affect Oregon as this is a very loud crowd. 
kick is away. It is still good. A little bit of room to spare. A little bit to the left, but still good nonetheless. Like I said earlier, Gabe Marks getting into the backfield. A nice playmaker. Averaged 20 yards per catch last year. Had a couple of nice runs. Hasn't been quite as productive this year as we haven't relied on the passing game quite as much. Jamal Moore, though, trying to get to the outside. He's not able to get anywhere. Does not pick up anything. If you remember back to last year, Morrow was benched when he was the single back, or really the primary back, and now on third down, Luke Falk has to throw it away, but Morrow last year, he did not play very well, so he was benched for Marcus Mason, as neither offense doing very much with three minutes left in the second quarter, only 50 yards for us, 99 for Oregon. From the shotgun, give goes to Tyner, and that is Tana Pritchard, the senior linebacker, getting some rare playing time. Second and 12 for Mariota. Time to throw. And it runs out. He loses six. Daryl Monroe in on the sack. His third on the year. Mariota now going to a screen pass for Thomas Tyner. Nowhere to go. Charleston White there. And that is a loss of one. So now two minutes, 30 seconds left on first and 10. Luke Falk going with a screen pass to Morrow. And he had a little bit of a hesitation there before cutting up field. Only able to pick up one yard. From the full house, Marks gets motioned out in a quick slant to River Craycraft. He's able to go for 13 yards and pick up the first down. Under a minute 30 left, Jamal Morrow getting us inside of field goal range as we're right on the edge of it right now. Third and six, Luke Falk moving in the pocket. He's trying to get outside. He's looking for someone. Good coverage downfield. He throws it away as that is very nice coverage from Oregon. As Brushers is on for the field goal, he has three misses so far, and add one more to it. The 54-yard field goal is just short. We'll get a second look at this, see how close it was, as that is pretty devastating. That would have tied the game up. Now, Oregon has really good field position as they go to the air to start off their drive. Thomas Tyner, he's able to pick up six yards using their first timeout. Now, third and one, 20 seconds left. Mariota going to the air. He's got a man, Devin Allen. He's into the end zone, 54 yards. Just like that, this game is now a 10-point game, pending field goal. Devin Allen, the track sprinter, he gets open, averaging 20 yards per catch. But we end your halftime down by 10 points. Struggling so far, especially on offense. Our defense was playing pretty well. That last play is a backbreaker, though, as looking at the stats of the game, Seven rushing yards. Coming to this game, I believe we averaged over 200 yards per game. Oregon's offense not there at great. Hopefully we can turn around the second half, which is coming up next. Second half is underway as Oregon will start off with the ball with a 10-point lead. Going to the ground to begin the half as Thomas Tyner will go straight up the middle a little bit to the left for a four-yard gain. Now second and six, Tyner cutting. He makes a move and picks up seven along with a first down. First and 10, Oregon's offense moving pretty effectively earlier is Devin Allen, who we've kept quiet for most of the game, now starting to get loose. Like I said, averaging over 20 yards per catch coming into this game. First and 10, Tyner trying to get to the outside. He's sandwiched at the 45 yard line, a gain of seven. So now second and three, a three man front. As Tyner goes right up the middle, he's hit down hard, but another first down. Oregon's offense not the most explosive right now, but just picking up what is required. Mariota, though, he's inside the 25-yard line, 16 yards, another first down. Across the middle this time to Carrington, as he is inside of the 15-yard line, a gain of 11. First and 10 for the Oregon Ducks. A lot of first downs to start this drive, as Royce Freeman, he's hit hard, a pickup of around five yards. So now second and five, and Freeman's met in the backfield. He's brought backwards three yards, as Xavier Cooper, actually make that Daryl Paolo, the reserve defensive tackle, is in for a nice play. Freeman fighting. He stiff arms the defensive lineman. Ends up with a six-yard gain. Oregon settles for another field goal. Jamal Moore really struggled in the first half. Eight carries for four yards. He's almost equaled his yardage total from the first half on that one run. Now he's past it. Second and seven. He's past the 35-yard line. Down at the 39. A first down that is very nice to see. Now running the triple option. Pitch to Gabe Marks. He tries to make a spin move, but once again, shut down pretty quickly as he's not been able to get out into the open space. Now Keith Harrington in the game on the counterplay, cuts back inside, and he's able to pick up six. 
Now third and very short, a twin tight end set. Harrington once more trying to fight forward. And they say he got it. That's as close as you could possibly get as we got a good spot. Jamal Morrow back into the game, however. He has a little more room to work with this time. Only able to pick up three, however. So now it is second and five, four wide set. Luke Falk across the middle. And Robert Lewis with a huge drop on third down. The red shirt freshman wide receiver had been playing pretty well as that is a huge drop. However, Mariota dropped in the backfield. Third and ten. Going with a screen pass, pass to Freeman. He's got some room to work with, pushed out of bounds at the 26 yard line. Called a gain of 10 and a first down. Munt in motion, give goes to Freeman. He hesitates, he fights forward, runs through Lamora, but does go down 13 yards. So now a freshman running back in in Corbett as they're getting a lot of running backs involved. Mariota nowhere to go, Moritz Chris, his first sack on the season. Now third and very long, draw play to Corbett, and he is nowhere to go. He tried to get to the outside, two yard gain, as Oregon will be forced to punt. Gotta get some points in this drive, Jamal Moore to the outside. He runs through a defender, but he got a little slowed down, and French ended up bringing him down from behind. Nearing the end of the third quarter, a quick bubble screen to Robert Lewis, as even after the big drop, we went back to him showing a little bit of confidence in him. First and 10 across the middle. Gabe Marks gets free on the slant route. He's inside a duck territory. A gain of 12. Now into the fourth quarter. A big fourth quarter upcoming. Jamal Moore, what a spin move. He finally makes someone miss. Picks up eight yards. Second and two, a four wide set. Luke Falk in the pocket. He fires. Somehow he got LaRue light right there as Craycraft is wide open cutting across the middle of the field, but he misses him. Now back to Morrow on the catch. He runs forward, a nice run after catch, 10 yard gain. Now second and inches, Keith Harrington in the game. He hesitates a little, fights forward to the three yard line. Now a goal to go situation from the full house. Give goes to Harrington. He fights forward into the end zone, a two yard touchdown. His first touchdown on the season and that might be his first career touchdown. It is now a one score game and a six point game as Mariota has gotten free on the option play down the sideline, finally pushed out by Taylor Taliulu, a terrible angle by Darius Lamora. Once more on the option play, Mariota room to work with to the 25 yard line, down on top of the Pac-12 logo, a pickup of 12. Devin Allen in motion, pitch to Allen, he's got a good block and a missed play right there, what a bad angle. Devin Allen into the end zone, his second on the day, his second big one also as a terrible angle by Charleston White. Now going for the two points, and on the draw play, Mariota nowhere to go. A nice play by Daniel Ekiwale. So Morrow up the middle of the field, picks up five. Now a 12 point game and a two point game. Gotta score a touchdown on this drive. Can't get Oregon the ball back. Going to the outside, Morrow breaks a tackle, spins off another. He picks up six along with the first down. Morrow has really struggled. 16 carries for 49 yards. Robinson, the ball is out, springs on top of it as Dave Robinson, he fumbled the ball. That's a huge turnover. It wouldn't be reviewed. He was clearly fighting for extra yardage and then it just got pulled out. Robinson has struggled with drops and now a huge fumble. Oregon with the ball once more, second and 12. Mariota across the middle, Freeman wide open. He's to the 27 yard line, 14 yard gain. Five minutes left in the game. Give goes to Freeman as Thomas Tyner did go out early in the game with a broken toe, his day is done. Forgot to mention that, second and five for Mariota. From the pocket to the outside, Devin Allen once more. No one can handle his speed. Daquan Brown just completely burned right there. A just terrible play as Devin Allen, 13 receiving touchdowns on the year. That is a school record. Is now first and 10. Got to work quickly. Moving to the outside, Luke Falk trying to escape the pocket. And he's brought down from behind. DeForest Buckner brings him down. Third and forever, Luke Falk. He goes with the dump down, only able to pick up three yards. As he had Craycraft once more, this game is getting out of hand if it isn't already. As we're just being killed offensively and defensively, it's just not going very well. Mariota now across middle, 
Still going to the air. You just got to run the clock of your Oregon. You don't really need to throw the ball, but a 15-yard gain nonetheless. Second and six. Gibb goes to Freeman. He goes, and that might have been a face mask on Lamore. He might have got away with it, but instead it is now third and one. Freeman up the middle of the field. He has room to work with. Brought down from behind by Destiny Viao. An 11-yard gain. Another first down. Minute and a half left. Corbett goes up the middle of the field, and he picks up 13 yards as this game is pretty much over. One final play probably. Second and goal to the outside. Corbett is into the end zone, adding insult to injury, a four-yard touchdown. It is now a 35-10 game. Now 36-10 is the final score as Washington State has been blown out. Devin Allen, three touchdowns on the day, a lot of big plays from him. We kept him quiet till the end of the first half. Luke Falk, only 114 yards. Jamal Morrow was no better. He really struggled. Mariota, 14 for 14, a perfect day, 179 yards. Not a ton, but does throw for two touchdowns. Morrow averages three yards per carry. That's something to keep an eye on. Like I said earlier, last year he really struggled as a lone back, and I wonder if this game on offense was sort of a hangover from the Gerard Wicks injury and this team not really knowing what to do as LaRue was probably one of the bright spots in this game. Other than that, Daryl Monroe puts up a nice game. But over, I think this team really, we've come a long way. We can compete with some of the top teams, but we definitely cannot beat them yet. As we were just, it was not a good game. 424 yards to 177. Not, it's just a bad, bad game. Next week, we do take on the 1-9 and nine Oregon State Beavers. They're horrible. 118th on offense and 126th worse than the nation on defense. A pretty good quarterback passing wise, but other than that, not much to work with for that team. But nonetheless, we have now dropped to tied for second in the division as Oregon is just an incredibly talented team. It's a tough team to beat, especially on the road in their home environment. That's just not going to be an easy thing to win. Virginia Tech has now climbed to number three in the nation, Southern Cal at four. Oregon moved up to six and Washington at number 11. Now recruiting update is Raymond Barber, a middle linebacker we're looking at has locked us out. UCLA and Stanford are the final two contenders for him. But we also did pick up two more recruits for us in Marcus Mann and Alex Dixon. Marcus Mann, a very large tackle who could be a nice piece moving forward. Probably a guy who gets redshirted. Alex Dixon, he could be a guy who sticks on the outside, maybe moves on the inside. Is I feel like he could be very good in the run game. Looking at some of the players we have left. Greg Covington, the mammoth defensive end, is really favoring Minnesota and Penn State with a visit to come for Penn State. Brandon Landry is favoring Hawaii, but we do have a visit this week against Oregon State. Marcus Harrison is insurance if Brandon Landry decides to go somewhere else. But this is a team, like I was saying earlier, they've come a long way. We're a lot better now. We're gonna be in a bowl game. That's definitely a positive. We're competing for the division title. You can't ask much more from this team, but we're just not at that talent level yet that you can really compete with the top teams in the nation. But the biggest thing to keep in mind with that is we lose a lot of the top players from this team will not be back next year, especially on this defense. We have a lot of talented defensive players, but pretty much the entire linebacker core and defensive line with our free safety also graduating. This will be a new look team next year, but next week with two games left on the season, we'll be taking on Oregon State back at home Hopefully we can really crush them before our matchup with Washington. Maybe end the season with nine wins. I don't call that a disappointment at all. I hope you did enjoy this game. A very disappointing game. I thought we'd play them a little bit closer. We did for a while, but then Oregon just pulled away. Like I said, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. Leave your comments on the game down below and what you thought we could have done better. And just some general things that you thought about the game. I will see you next time for week 13 against Oregon State. Cause I'm out.